Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video on the makeup that I am wearing right now. It is a very neutral look, but it is a very made up look. It's very glam, but then it was easy at the same time. I only used two eyeshadows. So if you want to do your makeup, but you don't want to deal with so many colors, so many steps, the eye look is super simple. And I applied lashes, made it look a little bit more dramatic, blush, foundation, this new lip from One Size Beauty, you guys, their new lippies. 1000% recommend you're gonna see how they apply on camera. So if you are new to my channel Welcome, my name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling really good If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here with me today Thank you for being part of the glam fam. I did have a subscriber She left that comment and I just love that name. So let me know what you think about it if you would like to see how I achieved this look then just keep on watching all right guys so let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my skin using the Mac hyper real serumizer I am trying out these products and I am also using the brush that goes along with this skincare and I will say that I love the way that this left my skin and it prepped my skin so nicely for makeup so I really really enjoyed it and then I topped it off with the hyper real skin canvas balm which is like a thicker moisturizer and it just prepped my skin really really nice and got it ready for foundation i'm also going to be applying the total eye lift firming and smoothing eye cream from clarins i'm still testing this one out so i will be updating you guys soon and here i am using the laneige lip glossy balm to prep my lips and next up we are going to be using the thicket stick it brow gel mascara did you see that piece of lash just hanging on there anyways i love this product so much to do my eyebrows i brush it back and forth into my brow hairs and I need all the help that I can get when it comes to my brow so once I discovered these brow gels I feel like they really help to add volume to my eyebrows make it look like I have more hair in that area and just makes them look a little bit more just a little bit thicker and helps me to finish filling them in at the end so that is what I am doing right now and then next I'm going to clean that up with concealer I'm using the NARS soft matte complete concealer and I'm just carving out the shape that I want them to be and that will help to further fill in your brows once you're done blending the concealer out So now I'm going to be using the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen and I'm just going to draw pretty much hair in the areas where I feel like I need it after I already carved it out with the concealer. This helps to not overdraw them. It also helps me to keep them a little bit more natural looking. I feel like each time I do them, I'm getting a little bit better and better, but it's all about practice. If we don't practice, you could be as talented as anything but without practice, you do lose it. So now that I have been doing my makeup a little bit more consistently, I've kind of been finding what works for me and what doesn't. So it's all about practice. Next up, we're going to use the Pump Up the Base Concealer by One Size, and this is going to be the eye base for the eyeshadows. It's going to cover any darkness, any veins. Now I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Rose Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to be focusing on the bottom eyeshadows, just keeping it matte and simple. So I am using a fluffy crease brush, and I am applying this color pretty much everywhere on my crease, on the brow bone, and I am just giving my eye the shape that I like with this shade. So I am also bringing it down into that V area on the outer corner of the eye and just extending the eye a little bit further out. So here I am doing it to the other eye and it's all about just blending everything out and making sure that there are no harsh edges.
Next up, we are going to take the nude shade and I'm going to be blending that into the other shade and just carving out where I want my lid to be. And then it's all just going to blend in together really, really nicely. And it's a very easy eyeshadow look that you can do on the go, in the car, just really quickly. I love those types of eye looks because they're easy to do, but it looks like you put in effort to get ready. You look really nice, put together. And these types of looks can be worn with pretty much any type of outfit so I really like to do this most of the time so now I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything together using the first brush that I used and now to clean up the shape of my eye look I love to use the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes clean it and make it look as sharp as possible that's what's going to make it look very nice and clean and put together and now I'm going to do a winged liner with the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid eyeliner and this one is in like a brown color so it isn't as intense and and dark as the black ones wing liner will always be tricky no matter what that's something that is just like one day it can come out perfect and the next it's just it is what it is <laughs> Next up, we are going to apply mascara to the lashes. So I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I will say that this mascara does give a very nice lift to the lashes, but I feel like it wasn't anything that was out of this world, but it did give the lashes a nice lift. I will say that, and it did do a good job at lengthening them, but I feel like I would have wanted a little bit more volume. Next up for lashes, I'm going to be applying the Sephora Fringe Lashes. I fell in love with these lashes. They are like a little bit darker towards the outer corners. They really give like a cat eye look. So I was showing you guys there how I measure the lashes first before I apply them. And I usually have to clip off at least two little clusters of hair because my eyes aren't as big as the lashes. So always make sure to pry them on first before you apply the glue and then that way it won't poke you in the inner corner or you won't make your eyes look droopy because if it's too long to the outside it will make your eyes look a little bit droopy so I was feeling the eyelashes and here I am applying the other one so just wanted to give you guys a few tips on lash application just make sure that you clip them to the size of your eye now we are going to move on to the face. I'm going to be priming the skin with the Refi Glow and Sculpt Glow Serum Primer. And I really like this primer. So I am focusing this month on really using up the products that I have in my collection. I want to see what's working for me, what's not working for me. And this primer right here, it's just so moisturizing, thin, it's not thick. I don't feel like it's sticky or anything like that. It just hydrates your skin and gets it ready for foundation. I love it. So today's foundation, I'm going to be using the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. And I have been really liking this foundation, so I do need to wear it a little bit more just to completely make up my mind about it. But I do love that it gives the skin a very nice look. It hides any unevenness, makes your skin look glowy, just looks like real healthy skin. So I really do enjoy this foundation and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels like you're not wearing anything. And and it just feels really comfortable on the skin. I was reviewing this foundation this day, so I did apply half of my face with a beauty blender and the other half with a brush. And I will say that both of the methods applied beautifully with this foundation. Next up for concealer, we're going in with the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is just another product that I have in my collection that I wanted to use because I haven't been giving it much love. And this did do a really nice job at brightening my under eye, covering everything. It gave me very nice coverage and it blended out pretty easily. So I don't have any complaints with this concealer. So I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And I do like the coverage that it kept, even though I was using a sponge to blend it out it really brightened up that under eye area 
Next up, I'm using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. I fell in love with this. I know that I have seen a few complaints about it just drying too fast and it being hard to work with, but I will say that I learned that as well, that you do have to work with it by section. So since this was my first time using it, I put it everywhere, but I would advise for you to work in sections, but it just blended into my skin so easy and it just feels like you're applying a tinted moisturizer and it's giving you just the right amount of like contour and bronziness to the face. I was just so in love and impressed by it. So the one thing that I will say is if you put it on the skin and leave it there too long, it will kind of like stain that area. It will dry down, kind of settle there. So you just have to work quickly with it. So as long as you're applying it and blending it out, it's going to give you a beautiful, real looking sun-kissed glow. So I think that this, for me, this became like a must have. I like how it blends into the skin. If you're wearing a lot of makeup, if you're not wearing a lot of makeup, it's going to look beautiful. I love it so much. Next up, I'm going to set everything with the Kosa's Cloud Set Baked Setting Powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this in with a puff and I'm doing the under eyes. I did the forehead a little bit, just wherever I wanted to mattify before I bake with a different powder. Now I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer, another product that I haven't used in a while. I love how this bronzer doesn't have a lot of kickback. It's not super powdery. It's very creamy, but it's matte at the same time, even though it looks radiant, it's like the perfect texture and it gives the skin the perfect amount of warmth without it being too orange or just, it looks really, really nice and realistic and very easy to work with as well. So if you're starting off with bronzer, I definitely recommend that one. Now I'm going to add the same shadows that I applied on my eyes to my lower lash line. And now I am going to be choosing from one of the new House Labs blushes. Look at this one, how gorgeous. So here I am swatching them. That is the pink shade. I don't have the names with me right now. I, I was just swatching them for you guys really quickly, but I love the formula. So I picked up these three shades. I got the peachy one, a pink one, and then the super bright one. So I think those three shades are beautiful, but they had so many beautiful shades to choose from. I just felt like these were the ones that were going to look better on my skin tone. And I went with the middle shade, which I am going to be putting the name of it on the screen for you guys. So I really like the way that this blush applied and I think that they look way darker than what they really transfer on. Look at that. It looks so realistic. It, I thought it was going to look way too pigmented, too like clownish for me, but it looks so real. I don't even know what I was doing here. <laughs> it looks so realistic. I really, really love these blushes. The formula is amazing. They're super soft. They blend so easily, super creamy. I cannot wait to keep using them so that I can update you guys. I was very happy about the makeup today. So next up is Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder in shade three. And I'm going to go ahead and bake under the eyes with this and just completely snatch the face and make everything blend together. Make the blush and everything just look very blended and seamless and just make everything blend in together nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and immediately dust it off because I do have dry skin, so I don't like to keep the powder on my skin for too long. But if you have oily skin, you can let it sit for a little longer. Next, I'm going to use a setting spray, and this is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist setting spray. I have been loving this one a lot lately. It makes your skin just look so natural and glowy and radiant, and it just makes everything melt together perfectly, and it just looks like skin. Next, I'm applying the MAC Giga Black Lash Extended Something Play Mascara. I'll put the name on the screen. And then now for my highlight, this is Makeup by Marielle Soft Glow Highlighter, and I love this. Every time that I use it, I fall in love with it.
and now for the lips i'm going to be going in with one size lip snatcher lip liner and this is in the shade out of line it is like a mauvey deeper pink shade but it just looks so beautiful and i love the way that it made my lips look very juicy and very plump i love the effect that it gave paired with the following lipstick the lipstick is going to be also from one size and this is the lip snatcher liquid lipstick and gloss and it's in the shade joella Puss, i think is how you would say that but it i didn't know if i liked this color when i first got it but the more that i saw the videos of me like while i was editing the videos i really really love this combination and when i add the gloss i love it even more it makes my lips look massive my lips are not that big <laughs> That brings me to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching my get ready with me. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.